Okay. All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we were expecting a few more people, so, um, but I don't want to take any more of your time. So um, this will be recorded and um, I will post it to um, the team page so you guys can all have access to it um, to give to your downline. Um, and then if you are coming in, um, if you could just mute yourself. Uh, let me see if I can do it real quick. Oh, it looks like everybody is muted. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I would definitely advise a piece of paper and a pen just for quick notes. There's a ton of good stuff um, and it's kind of like practical stuff like do this and do that. And that's what I wish I had from the start. So, um, so yeah, definitely take notes if you can. <clears throat> Joran, can you see that? Yep. Okay. I sure can. Okay. Um, so uh, first I have to do a big shout out to our Diamond Ambassador, uh, uh, Amber Volbina. She, I, I adopted this PowerPoint from her. Um, she's, it was so beautiful. I, was, I didn't want to change anything. So, um, <laughs> We, she was so gracious to let us use this. So um, we just kind of tweaked it um, for ourselves. But, um, but um, so yeah, so this is where it's coming from. We always say, don't reinvent the wheel. Um, we're a one plexus team. So um, if you ever want to host your own training, um, definitely come to us first. So you we can give you kind of your, um, you know, your skeleton to your PowerPoint and you can edit it. And what's ours is yours. So this is just a little bit about um, Joran and I. Um, so our story at the, and, and the beginning of yours. <laughs> um, we've gotten to travel lots of different places. Um, I am a senior Ruby ambassador with Plexus. I started in a 20, uh, May of 2016. And um, I, um, we've gotten to go to you know, different conventions and there we are in um, Orlando um, and um, at Super Saturday. Um, I started for, I wanted to lose a little bit of weight and I also, um, had postpartum and I was, um, just trying to find something, um, alternative to taking meds forever. Um, so, um, I was able to lose 10 inches and, um, come off all of my medication for about a year and a half. Um, I still have some bumps in the road, but it has been such a blessing to us, um, uh, physically and, um, and financially. Um, I, uh, at the, the, when I was making my, my most amount of money, I almost, um, met my teaching salary. So it is totally doable and, um, it just takes daily tasks. Um, and it's easy to share. Cause like I said, these products have totally changed my health forever. Joran, did you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, so my name is Joran. I'm a senior gold ambassador and I, um, just had my two year hit my two year mark with Lexus in November. Um, and, uh, you know, most of us that are doing this as a business, we kind of fell into it. You know, we kind of just started out, um, uh, because we had a physical need for the products. Like I know for me, my issues were digestive issues and anxiety, um, sleep problems, energy and mood problems. So I really was, you know, started the products, um, to feel better and then started realizing how awesome they were and how they could help other people too. So um, wherever you're at in your journey, whether you are just starting out and maybe wanting to get your products covered or you're really excited about the business or somewhere in between, um, you know, we just have such a great business and compensation plan. And so that's kind of what we're going to be talking about and sharing um, with you guys tonight. Um, but really at the heart, part of what we do is, is helping people to feel healthier and also helping people, you know, to bless their family financially. So it's just a really neat um, thing to be a part of. Okay, so this is just a quick overview. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, you signed up, now what? We'll do it like a, a very, very, very brief um, product training. Talk about our comp plan. Um, who wants to make $500? Uh, strategy and action plan. Where do I go from here? This is what I wanted. I wanted someone to tell me what to do, when to do it. Um, you know, I just wanted it to be really practical. So, um, 
that, um, that was super helpful to me to see. I just, I, I tried to do a training a day and, um, I throw my headphones in and watch it. So, um, this will be really helpful for that. And then there's lots of resources on here, um, that we'll give you. Mm -hmm. Just to echo what Sandra said, you know, um, even when we joined two years ago, there was a lot less available than what everybody has now. And, um, so somebody at some point told us like, watch YouTube videos. And that's literally what we did. And I still watch them a ton, um, to try to just learn and to try to get info and whether it's product info or it's just info on network marketing in general. Um, you know, I'm still just constantly trying to learn. So even if you're here with us tonight and you're not brand new, I think you're going to get something out of this because Amber put together a really awesome, um, PowerPoint here. So, um, Okay, so getting started, let's talk about, let's say you just signed up, like what do you do? So um, we have a series of team pages you should all be a part of. Um, our team page is Team Hope, Health, and Happiness. Um, and then you wanna make sure you're on Amber's Plexus team. She's um, like, she's our diamond upline. And then above her is Ellen's Plexus team. Um, and so why is it important to be on team pages? Well, first of all, it just kind of helps you to, you know, recognize that you're part of this amazing community of people that we all kind of have similar goals. Um, also there's just a lot of really great, um, resources there, information. Um, you know, if you have a question, you can reach out on the team pages. Um, also we do contests a lot. So you know, they might say like, oh, sign an ambassador today and you'll get $20 or, you know, things like that, um, which we pretty regularly do. Um, also things like, you know, just steps on how to go silver or, um, you know, sometimes we'll run like a seven day challenge. There's a lot of different um, neat things that we're always doing on the team pages. So make sure that you're a part of those. And then also make sure that anytime you sign someone up as a new ambassador, that you're adding them to those team pages as well. Um, right now there is a pinned post on Amber's Plexus team and it's actually information specifically for new ambassadors. So that's a really great place to sort of see a lot of this information summarized. Um, so make sure you check that out. Um, okay. You should, whenever you sign someone up or when you were signed up, you should, um, be on a three-way chat with, um, your upline and their upline. And then if you're signing someone up, you want to create a three-way chat with your upline and then your new person that you sponsored. Um, and the reason for doing that is because we, A, we want people to feel connected. So we want people to know that, you know, they're connected to the larger team. Also, chances are, if you're on this call tonight, you're relatively new. So if you're signing someone new up, um, you know, they might have questions that your upline who's been doing it a lot longer can answer. So three-way chats are so key. I can't stress enough how important they are and just how helpful. And I still use them. Like I, the three people that I signed this month, I just today started up a chat with my upline, Sarah, and I just introduced her and said, Hey, Sarah's been doing this for four years. She's a great resource. I just wanted to introduce you. So it can be super simple and non-threatening, but it's just a great way to um, make sure that you are helping this person to feel welcomed. Um, okay, we have starter, fi uh, sorry, starter files too that you can find on the team page, um, which just have a ton of helpful info. I think we probably have those um, on our Hope, Health, and Happiness page. I know they're on Amber's team page. Um, okay, and then logging into your virtual office. So just a show of hands of the faces I can see here. I can't see everybody, but um, if I can see you, how many of you guys have signed into your virtual office and you know kind of what it looks like? Okay, I see Rachel. Okay, I see Celeste. Hi, Celeste. Um, so, um, so what you wanna do is make sure that you kind of get in there and play around with it if you haven't been in there yet. So you can see it's kind of small here on the PowerPoint, but you can kind of, um, see the different sections. So when you log in, you're going to see a section for your business. Um, and then there's a training center, incentive and recognition and sharing um, 
section. So don't get overwhelmed <laughs> by all of this. Um, I'm just gonna super briefly explain what each of these sections are for. So if you're looking in the My Business section, this is really focused on you know, what's happening with your team. So you can look at any new ambassadors that have joined. You can scroll down, you can see your PV, which stands for your personal volume. That means how much um, volume is running through your website. Um, you can look at, you can look up your commissions um, and kind of see how that breaks down. You can see if you, if and when you have advanced in your ranks. So there's just a lot of good information there. Um, okay, the training center, um, oops, the training center is, um, is really great. That's where you can go. You might have to need to mute really super quick. If you're just hopping on, oh, perfect, thank you. Um, so the training center is, this is actually really great. This is new, um, pretty new. We didn't have anything like this when I started, but this is basically um, just gives you a lot of really cool resources for um, training yourself and learning more about network marketing, more about Plexus, all of that good stuff. Um, so there's an awesome, if you click on resource library, I was just playing around with this a couple weeks ago because I was like, what is this? And um, there's a whole bunch of really neat training videos under the resource library. Um, we also have the Rank Up Roadmap, which I believe now goes through Ruby. And what that will do, if you click on that, <clears throat> you'll have, um, you can click on like Road to Silver or Road to Gold, and it'll actually take you through various steps to reach that particular rank. Um, Success on Demand, that is a series of videos that you can watch also. Um, and then, uh, okay, so that's training. And then um, incentives and recognition. This is things like um, the Consistency Club, which, um, you know, if you add, um, you have to have a certain, uh, like there's like 300, 500, and 700 Consistency Club. And those all correspond with PV and how many um, customers and ambassadors you add. I'm not gonna go into all the detail on that tonight, but you can check that out. Um, right now we have our convention contest, so convention credits are tracked there as well. Um, and then the final category, which I think as a new ambassador is probably like the most important, is sharing Plexus. So if you look under sharing Plexus, if you scroll down to products, um, that is a gold mine because then you have access to all of our videos, all of our documents that have ingredient breakdowns, basically, you can look up any of our products and you'll get a lot of really great information. So let's say, you know, you have a potential person that like messages you and they're like, oh, you know what, what's in um, X Factor Plus? You can go and you can find all kinds of information on X Factor Plus um, and you can actually share that with them. It's, it's really nice because you can copy and paste the link and then it will take them directly to your website. Um, Okay, and then finally, and I, I apologize if it feels like I'm racing through this, it's because there's so much information here. We wanna make sure we respect your time and we're not here for three hours. We probably could talk for three hours, but um, we're gonna to try to keep it short. Okay, the success kit. When you signed up, you should have received a success kit. If you, just, if you signed up in, I think, November or December, you may not have gotten a physical one. It might be, um, it might have been online, but the success kit is really amazing. It's got um, little product cards that just are kind of like little cheat sheet cards for each of the products, um, since you're still sort of learning all the products. Um, it's got just a, a be beautiful catalog in it, all kinds of info. So be sure to take a look at that. It's really um, super helpful for getting started, especially like if you're a visual person that you like to you know, you want to be hands on and you want to see um, just kind of in person and not on a screen um, to learn about the products. It's a really great resource for you. Um, okay, and then the bottom, <laughs> relax, have fun and let us help you. So really um, what that means is don't feel overwhelmed by all of this. None of us when we started knew everything. Um, we kind of just jumped in and learned as we went along. And what I think is so exciting is that there is so much more now that's available to you. So, you know, if you have a question, 
you can look it up in the back office versus like when we started and we had a question, we had to like totally research it or find somebody that knew the answer. So um, we are totally here to help. So if you do research it and you still have questions or you need anything, that is what we're here for. So please don't ever hesitate to reach out. Yeah. If I had any piece of advice for myself in the beginning, I'd go back and just reach out all the time because I, Mm -hmm. you know, our success or your success is our success. So, you know, it's our job to help you and we want to see you be successful. Um, you know, there's a, we're in it with you. So definitely reach out and, um, ask any questions. Okay. So, um, getting started, welcome pack. Um, you can only have one. So we always, always say, you know, if you're signing someone up, really, really do your best to get them to get a welcome pack and, um, and get them to put a subscription on. Um, and then they can add anything else they want. Um, although we know that there's, you know, issues with that sometimes. Um, have I signed up someone without a welcome pack? Yes. <laughs> there's just times when it's just not going to happen or, you know, um, it's just, you've tried everything and you're trying to explain the value in it and, um, you know, it doesn't happen. But for the most part, when you sign someone up, that's really where you want to go. Um, you'll make a $25 bonus off of the $99 welcome packs and a $50 bonus off the $199 welcome packs. And you'll make $0 if they don't get a welcome pack. Um, so we always say, you know, you really want to, when you're going to sign someone up, you really, you're signing them up and you're, you're setting them up for success. You're getting them to have that subscription on. Otherwise they may, may never, you know, give it the, the 60 to 90 days. Um, and then um, they're gone by the following month. Um, and then now we have a new success kit. Um, new product cards, new pricing cards, full of info. It's nine, I think it's nine ninety five still, right, Joran? In back office? Um, it is. Well, oh, oh, I don't know. limited time, actually. That might have actually yeah. ended. That, but it, yeah, that, yeah, I don't know. I, I think you can still purchase it, though. Um, so. <clears throat> yeah. You want me to just go ahead with this, Joran? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, so, um, subscription is huge. When I first started... I remember thinking, um, you know, a lot of them uh, put it on in the beginning because I did. And so I, th- I would explain, this is how you do it. Um, and then I started having people not set one up and just kind of overlooking it. It really, really, really is key to helping people be consistent. Um, you know, Plexus is not going to work overnight. It's a health system. It takes time. Um, I have suffered from migraines for like 22 years. Um, and I knew that, um, you know, whenever you start a new health supplement, you have to give the products, um, 90 days, right. And then you also have to give them a month for every year that you dealt with an issue. So I knew if, you know, and I trusted Joran, I knew I wanted to give these products a shot. I knew I was in it for a long time, right. Cause I, I really wanted to see improvement in my migraines. Um, I mean, that would legitimately be legitimately be, let's see, 22 months plus three is 25 months. So just over two years, I should be seeing improvement in my migraines. And I have already. So, so keep that in mind. You really want to set people up for success. You know, we see people come off medications all the time. We see people, um, find relief from autoimmune diseases. Um, you know, think about that person that you know, that could really use these products that could totally be life changing, but if they don't give it the the time it needs, you know, you just never know what could have, what it could have done for them. So, um, so it's your personal order. Um, On the screen here, it shows you like on your back office, it'll, in your virtual office, it'll show you a thumbs up that says your subscription is on. Um, And um, you can look at, you can look into your subscription in your account and then you click on subscription and then you can view and edit it. You can change the date. You can, um, you know, change what's in it, customize it and um, 80% rule and why consistency is key. Sorry, that picture took over that part. Um, I, I'm pretty sure what that was supposed to say was, um, 80% of, um, people with, without a uh, subscription on will never reorder. That's a lot of people. And it is so true. Um, my business was growing, 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 then started to fall apart because people weren't being consistent and held, you know, to their subscription and, and, um, and so I, that's what I noticed. And I noticed two people weren't giving it the timing that it needed. So um, if I can give you any piece of advice when you're signing someone up, make sure their subscription is on. 
If they have an issue with turning it on, then make them your customer, you know, for now until they're really ready to commit to, to giving the products the time. <clears throat> Joran, did you have anything you wanted to add? Well, just that if you think about it, it makes no sense if they sign as a, an ambassador and then they don't have a subscription. On. That makes no sense. That means they just paid $35 for this yearly membership, but then they only used it for a month. So it's like, it just, it doesn't even make sense. So um, I agree a hundred percent. It's so important to get people, you know, signed up with us. And I'll be honest, <clears throat> when I first started, I wasn't very good at this. And I think it's because I just didn't present with confidence. So I was kind of, you know, took the approach of like, well, you know, you really should have it, but if you're not comfortable, we totally don't have to do it. And it totally bit me in the butt. So <laughs> I'm, I present completely differently now. Like Sandra said, we're not trying to trick anybody into subscribing. It really is essential to their success on the products. And so I presented it as that way now. And I agree with Sandra, if they're not ready for that, or they're not comfortable with that, then they should just be a customer until they get an experience with the products. Right. <clears throat> you know, and I think too, if someone's scared of it that way, if they're a customer, you can really talk to them about, you know, th those things while they're trying their first month. Um, and then, you know, get them to feel safe with, with their products. So, um, yeah, um, super duper important. I've seen people's business, you know, after it happened to me, I've seen people's business grow, 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 and then literally fall apart because there's just no commitment. There's no consistency. Um, and we all know, you know, that's like the name of the game with these products. So, okay. So, um, Joran, that is, a, I think it's just a little bit of product talk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so obviously if you guys are here and you're ambassadors, you know a little bit about the products, right? Cause you're taking them and you've ordered them. So, um, <clears throat> we're not going to spend a ton of time here. Um, but talking about, you know, where do I start? 99% of people should really be starting with the triplex. So, you know, you'll get somebody that says, Oh, um, you know, I just want weight loss, right? Cause we hear that a lot. That's what people want. And so they're looking at the products and they go, oh, well, I want Slim and Accelerator. Well, Accelerator is a great product, but if they're not ta tackling their gut health and if they're not getting to the root issues, then the Accelerator is not going to be as effective. So we really want to encourage, you know, most people to go that route with the Triplex combo. Um, so Triplex, as you guys know, We've got our, you know, gut health products there, the BioCleanse and ProBio5, which are really working on healing the gut. Um, of course, ProBio5 attacking that candida yeast overgrowth and then containing digestive enzymes. Um, and then the BioCleanse as a magnesium um, supplement that helps to sort of flush everything out. Um, and then Slim, the pink drink, which you know, is such a great product for helping to balance blood sugars and giving, providing people with energy and mood enhancement. And then of course we, um, added in the XOS prebiotic, which is also really great for weight loss. So, um, I mean, you guys know you're most, most of you here tonight are probably on the triplex. So, you know, um, you know that this, you just feel great taking these products. And so, um, we want to get this combo in as many people's hands as we can. Um, okay. And then X Factor Plus and Vital Biome. I think Amber threw those on here because um, they're obviously products we really like for people to take with the Triplex, um, you know, depending on budget. Um, X Factor especially because it's covering all of the, you know, vitamins and minerals that are so essential um, to our overall health. And it's a, such a complete multi. Um, so, you know, that's, that's a great one with this one. Um, it's a strong vitamin. So we definitely encourage people to, you know, um, take it with food or to start just with one, if they have a sensitive stomach, um, vital biome is our second probiotic, um, that the company released in June. And, um, the way I'm explaining this, like when people ask me sort of like, which probiotic should I do or which, you know, which helps with what? Um, of course, you know, ProBio5 is great and totally addresses gut issues. Um, I kind of like to explain it as like, if you really struggle with anxiety or mood or, you know, um, 
sadness or anything like that, I think Vital Biome is a great one because it really um, was created specifically with strains that have been clinically proven to help with mood and anxiety. So that's a great product as well. Ideally, we'd love for people to be on both. Um, but you know, that just kind of, kind of gives you a little bit of an overview on those um, particular products. Do you want to add anything, Sandra, on those? Um, yeah, I also, we have heard it said before, um, if you ever want to look into a product training, a really good one is actually, she's on this list <laughs> is, um, Rachel Neagle. I love, love her trainings. Um, she's mm -hmm. under right here. She's under YouTube. Um, Rachel, she spells her name like you. <laughs> she's mm -hmm. awesome. And, um, she, I, you know, my reason for starting the products have a lot to do with my issues with, you know, hormonal imbalances. My migraines are hormonal. Everything is like revolved around these dang hormones. Can I get an amen? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. but I, you know, so listening to the, cause she talks a lot about that and what the products do for your hormones. So, um, so when I heard her explain like ProBio 5 is going to go in and it's really going to, you know, break down that, um, that candida yeast, the ectoskeleton around it and, and get to the bad and really start to like, you know, um, break down that bad, um, uh, bacteria and get rid of it. Um, and then she explained with the, the vital biome, this is really, really repl replenishing our good. And it's, it's not, so it's not going to do the same thing that pro that probio five does, but we need them both <laughs> like so bad, you know? So, um, so I, that's where I found um, the most explanation was in her videos. So mm -hmm. uh, these are just some um, product training um, suggestions. Um, and Ame Darling is um, awesome. I love listening to her. And like I said, um, Rachel Neagle. And it looks like um, Amber has something in her pin post about um, Jennifer Pickett. And then oh. on the right, it says, don't be afraid to find answers. And I, you know, a lot of times in the beginning, someone will join and they'll have all these questions because, you know, if you Google Plexus or if you Google any kind of supplement company or anything <laughs> for that matter, you're going to find some negative stuff out there that people have to say. Um, and I always tell my new, my new people, like Joran told me when I was brand new, because I am a Googler. Um, you know, she said, let's just, let's just research the ingredients. You know, let's look at what's in our products because um, it tells you what's in them. So instead of just researching just the name of the company, you know, take the things that you're looking for or like on the bottle and go see what those, those do and um, do for the body. So um, PubMed is a great um, research um, place to look. Um, you can research gut health, inflammation, blood sugar, microbiome, all these things will help you even in your posting and your ability to like talk about our product. Mm -hmm. I just want to add one quick sure. thing to that. Um, I know we have some people who are here tonight who are total researchers and love that and like really just, just want to dig in and learn everything about every single product. And so they're probably really excited to see like, Ooh, I have a list of people I can check out. Um, if that's not you don't feel super overwhelmed. Like you have to know exactly how every single product works. I mean, you know, I've been doing this for two years and I, I wouldn't call myself a product expert. I feel like I have a general understanding of, of the ingredients and how the products work. Um, but I wouldn't call myself like, like a super scientific, like, you know, researcher. So I say that just to help you, you know, to, to not feel overwhelmed or to not feel like, oh my gosh, I need to like drop everything and go learn everything about every product. I think obviously, you know, like, yes, I love watching these videos and learning something new or something really cool about one of the products. But I do think it's equally important to, you know, train yourself on network marketing or train yourself on, you know, how to interact with people or how to close a sale or whatever it is, because, you know, we have to be well-rounded in our knowledge of what we're doing. And truly, I feel like um, I, I was not that way either. Like I did, I just come to Joran in the beginning and say, okay, tell me what blah, blah, blah does. And why? Okay, cool. And then you learn as you go, you know, you kind of learn how the products work as you take them and as you get the answers from your upline. So again, yeah, don't feel overwhelmed about that. Okay. Compensation plan. This, um, I'm going to just going to start off by saying, I think the best and easiest way to get a handle on this is to watch a video. And I think 
Amber listed a few here. Um, YouTube Learn to Earn, that's from Plexus. Um, you can also go on YouTube and just Google like Plexus Compensation. I think Sonia Dudley mm -hmm. has a really good one. Is that's that the, the one? one? I watched that one when I first joined. Me too, I probably mm -hmm. sent it to you. Um, it's like 11 minutes long and she's got a whiteboard and she just like breaks it all down and it's super easy. So if you're taking notes, it's Sonia Dudley, D-U-D-L-E-Y. And she, um, actually she's one of the like, she's a, a Plexus old timer. She's probably been in the company for six years or something. And she's a diamond, um, also has a lot of great trainings. So be sure to check her out. But anyway, we get paid in 11 ways. Okay. We're, I'm not going to talk about every single way, but I'm going to kind of highlight the, the main ones. Okay. So first example would be commissions. Um, this is on our sales. Okay. So going back to that PV that I was talking about earlier, when you, um, let's say you sell a triplex to somebody, okay. As a customer, as a preferred customer, you're going to get, um, 15% commission on that order. So a triplex for a preferred customer is $129. I don't know if the PV is the same, but you're going to get 15% of that PV amount. Um, and then the reason it says 15 or 25% is that once you reach $500 in sales, then you are going to be getting 25% commission rather than 15. Um, so that does add up and that's a really um, great way to make money. Okay, also you're going to get a preferred cash bonus. This is one reason we really love people to order preferred and get that um, subscription set versus ordering um, retail. So when they order preferred, you're going to get a um, cash bonus. So for example, on a triplex, is it 20 on a triplex, mm -hmm. Sandra? You know? Yeah. Okay. So when you sell a triplex, um, you're getting a $20 uh, preferred customer bonus. Um, every single month they order it. Right. And not just the first month. So every single month. So mm -hmm. if you think about it, um, you know, if you're if you have a preferred customer who orders from you month after month after month, and you're reaching that 500 PV mark, you're making about $40 just on that person's triplex order because you're getting the 25% commission. Um, and then you're also getting that preferred, you know, bonus. So actually you're making probably 45, 50 off of their, um, triplex order. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then the preferred cash bonuses are different. So you could have like, I think if you sell like um, a ProBio 5, it's like a $5 bonus. You know, they're different for the different amounts. Um, okay, another way, I talked about 500 PV. Okay, another way is team growth. So obviously every time someone under, um, you know, in your downline orders a welcome pack, you get a bonus. So if you're someone directly under you, somebody that you sign up orders a, $99 welcome pack, you get a $25 bonus. If they order the double, you get a $50 bonus. Okay. But, um, you know, if, uh, Sandra, who's my level one, she's direct to me. If she signs a new person with a welcome pack, she gets $25 and I get $12.50. So you are getting paid on those welcome packs. Is it four levels deep, Sandra, on welcome packs? You know, what's strange is I feel like you get a bonus on all seven levels. Okay. Like if it just I think after a certain dollars. level, it's like $5 or something. Gotcha. Okay. That might be on the chart on the next slide. We'll, we'll take a look at it. But anyway, you, you do get paid on welcome packs for people that join under you. Um, okay. And then, um, I'm going to talk about rank bonuses in a minute, but pay points. This is where you need to watch that video because I'm not going to explain it probably all that clearly here, but basically, um, after the first month that someone joins every month after that, that they order a hundred dollars or a hundred PV, they are worth pay points to you. And if they're your level one, they're worth five pay points to you. Um, and generally a pay point amounts to around $3, um, give or take a little bit. Um, and then, uh, the pay points, there's a, there's a chart, but the pay points, um, go, go down depending on what level the, the person is to you. Um, 
Sandra, do you want to add to that? Because I feel like I'm not explaining that very sure. well. So I'll give you an example. Like um, I have, um, let's see, last month, we'll talk about last month. Last month I ended at, um, let's say 500 points, right? Because, um, you know, I have, um, I'm a Ruby, our senior Ruby ambassador. I have that, that, that many people in my downline. Each one of them are worth so many points. So at the end of the month, 500 points total. So then you take that 500 points and you multiply it by the, um, how much that point is worth that month. Like Joran said, the average is about $3. It depends. I think it depends. Doesn't it depend on like how the company's doing kind of thing? So let's say 500 times three, right? I just made $1,500 that month in points alone. So just from my downline has nothing to do with my commission, nothing to do with my preferred bonuses, nothing, you know, it's just all coming from my team. And I think that's why we always really talk about how building a team is where, you know, you really want to go because if you're passionate about these products and you, you want it to be, you know, maybe one day your full-time income, that really is where you're going to see most of your residual in income come from. Right. I don't know. Maybe I just confused them more. But. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that makes sense. Um, the pay points. Um, and isn't it your, I don't know why I'm blinking on this. Is it your levels one through three that are worth five? Yeah. And, yeah. So your levels one, two, and three are all worth five pay points to you. And then as it goes down, um, it decreases all the way down to your seventh level. And, but we do get paid on seven levels deep. Which is so I, yeah. So Rachel is my level two. Rachel signed up for sister Celeste, right? Is directly under you. Celeste is my level three. So right there, both of them are worth five points to me every month. Um, anybody under Celeste is then going to be worth four points, right? And then so on. Every every level down is worth a point less until you're level seven. So right. Okay. Uh, let's move on and talk about going silver. I, um, I really think, you know, whether you're here tonight and you're kind of just like, I'm not even sure if I want to do this as a business or if you're gung ho, I really think everybody can go silver because going silver means you're adding three level one ambassadors with a welcome pack. And, you know, truthfully, we, we all know three people that could use these products. You know, for me, when I started, it was my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and my mom. So, um, you know, typically in our, we would call that our warm market, people that want to support us and that want to see what we're up to. Um, typically, you know, we can find three people there. So, um, I just encourage you, you know, going silver is great because then you get a hundred dollar cash bonus. Um, you know, not to mention every month that those people are ordering. Now you have 15 pay points, um, you know, going forward. And then if they're signing people, you know, you're building, you're building a little team. So whether or not you really think like, okay, I'm going to be totally go for it with the business. I do feel that going silver is a really helpful way to get your products paid for, which I know is a lot of people's goal. And it's just a way to kind of get the word out and get the products in the hands of some people that you care about and that trust you. And, um, so I just think it's a great, it's a great way to go. Um, and you can see here, the average silver makes $423 a month. So unless you're like doing six slims a day, um, you're probably covering your products with that amount of money, which is awesome. Okay, last one is going Fast Start Gold. This is um, not achieved by many. It's um, definitely not super easy to do. But um, to, so silver is uh, three people on your team. Gold is 20. So um, don't let that scare you though, because as you as you work toward gold, that's not 20 direct to you, that's 20 you know, on your team. So um, if you go fast start gold, you're actually getting 20 people on your team within 30 days. So people do it, people that come in and they're just like really ready to go with the business, they do it. Um, certainly if you know somebody that is competitive and driven and really wants to go for it with the business, then by all means, um, you know, hook them up with one of us and we can help them make a plan to go fast start gold. You do get, uh, what's the bonus? 750. I, I feel like it is 750. I think it's a $750 bonus. Yeah. 
um, for going fast start gold. Um, so I didn't get it. So I don't, (laughs) yeah, I was really close. I had 19. (laughs) Just kidding. It actually took me five months to go silver. When I told you that my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and my mom joined me, that is true. But my mother-in-law was a customer, not an ambassador. So it took me, it took me some time, but, um, you know, I, there were a lot of steps that we're going to talk about tonight that I didn't follow. And there was, you know, I was still, like I said, very unsure of myself. So I do think it's um, super attainable. Okay. You want to do, take this one? Yeah. Um, so it's, it is um, almost 845. So I'm just going to kind of start speeding up a little bit. Um, our, this, this sheet can be found um, in the files section um, of probably any of our uplines um, uh, team page, or you can Google it too. Um, but it shows you the average for each level. So um, let's see, I can honestly remember sitting there and telling, I remember when I went silver and I thought, oh wow, I went silver, yes, okay. And then they told me what gold was and I was like, what? Like, I don't have influence with people. I just like these products. I, I don't see how that's ever gonna happen. Um, and then it did. I just did what they told me to do and I hit gold. Um, And then of course, every level is a new challenge, right? Um, But these, um, these incomes make it worth it. You know, it makes it so that you can invest in your business and, um, you know, spend time helping people. So um, these amounts can be life changing. (laughs) Um, This, so when I hit uh, senior Ruby, um, I just about matched my teaching salary and Um, I mean, that was such a blessing. And then, um, and then to think that Emerald is next, I'm like mind blown. Right. Like I was still, I can still remember sitting on the couch telling Scott, like gold, 20 people, like that's never going to happen, but it did. And I didn't do anything special. I just did what my uplines told me to do and I loved the products and that's about it. So, um, and then down here, um, I don't know if you can see if, if the, if this is in the way or not, but these are um, the average time frame to go emerald, sapphire, and diamond. And, um, and then on the right, it shows ambers, right? Can you see that, Joran? Does it show ambers on the bottom? Um, for me, the, um, the oh, little... The, yeah, like, mine too. ...is blocking it, but... Oh, there, now I can see it. Yeah, so right here, it just shows you in ambers in parentheses. Um, it took her 20 month, 21 months to go uh, emerald, so just under two years, and then 36 months to go sapphire and 40 months to go diamond. I mean, if someone told you that you were going to make, um, you know, $34,000 a month, like, would you take the time and invest, you know, 10 years if you had to? So I think that's where like this whole thing just gets me. It's like, you know, um, we just went through a little bit of a hard time and I took a huge step back from my business, just getting well and, you know, um, and working with my family to get well. And I still made residual income, you know, it's just, it's, it's such a blessing. So, um, I think, I think that's probably it on this. Do you have anything to add, Jordan? No, no, that is not that. Um, okay. So we're going to just briefly talk strategy and how to grow your business. Um, you know, customers versus ambassadors. We kind of, um, already talked about how, you know, if somebody, is really not sure how committed they want to be. They definitely should go the customer route. Also, I would say people that are ordering like two products or fewer, you want to encourage them to be customers. Um, remember if they're ambassadors and they're not hitting the hundred PV mark, you're making no money off of them. So, you know, at the end of every month, we always have a few people that are ending at like 96 PV and we're like, Oh man, you know? Um, so anyway, they're probably better off as customers. Um, and then, you know, happy customers do make great ambassadors down the road. So we always want to keep that in mind. Um, also it's nice to have customers because it does boost your commissions, you know, having, um, preferred customer bonuses plus that, um, commission breakdown really does help boost your, boost your sales. Um, and then we kind of talked about ambassadors and how you get paid on ambassadors. So I think we should probably, I think we're going to move on. Cause I want to talk a little bit about like what to act you guys should actually do to get started. Yeah. Should I go to the next one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. 
Um, you want to take this one? I'm going like that. Yes. Okay. Let me get this. I see in the morning. Okay. Um, so your first goals would be um, to go silver. Um, and even, you know, in, in between go silver and 500 PV, all of this, a lot of times we're going to have ambassadors that or wholesale customers, right? The same thing um, that um, don't really want to share, right? Jordan, we talked about um, talking about this. They, they just want to, they maybe have interest in just covering their products and that's totally awesome too. And it's to totally doable. Um, it takes anywhere from three to five <laughs> customers. Uh, hi, Ryan. <laughs> it takes anywhere from between three and five customers to cover your products, um, customers and or ambassadors. So keep that in mind too for your wholesale people who join for the best prices, right? And don't really want to share. Just let them know how easy it is to cover their products because um, you just never know. I joined, didn't really want to work the business, but I knew I had to cover the products. We're on one income. And so that's why I started um, just sharing a little bit here and there. But then I saw the cash flow in and I was like, oh, we're going to just go all in right now. Um, okay, so your first goal would be to go silver. Um, uh, we do a um, silver in seven days. And, um, and we do like, a, there's a lot of training videos on going, um, doing silver in seven. Um, Sarah Taylor has training videos on YouTube. Um, but the idea about the, the silver in seven is not that you go silver in seven days. It's just really gives you the tools and what to be doing on a daily basis in seven days so that, you know, at eventually <laughs> and sooner than later, you would go silver um, pretty quickly. We always say there's, there is, um, there is a routine and like a perfect, you know, plexus day. And if you can do your best to get those, um, activities out every day, you will see fruit from your labor. Um, you know, everyone's time frame is different, but, um, it, it will come. And we haven't seen anybody who puts in right Jordan and on our team, anybody who has done what we t told them to do, um, has put in the effort, has done the daily activity, they succeed. So, um, and then, um, like we just said, you, your goal, I would say one of your first goals would be um, getting yourself to 500 PV because remember um, making 15% and 25% is a huge jump. You're almost doubling your um, commission. And then um, you could plan to fast start goals. <laughs> it is um, quite the challenge, but, um, but there, I mean, we've seen people do it. So there's also videos on this, um, Sarah Taylor and then Tara Castaneda. So you can look into those. <clears throat> Okay, let's talk about posting on Facebook. So some of you here tonight maybe already have been doing this, some haven't. Um, and I want to add like, and this is for me too, because I'm like not on Instagram, but I'm going to get on Instagram because apparently that's where all the action is happening now too. So anyway, I would say these are Facebook and Instagram tips. So all the cool um, kids are joining. Yeah, I know all the cool young people. So I got to get my act together and get on Instagram. Um, but anyway, I, you know, I love how Amber wrote, wait, no way. Because I will tell you that was totally me when I started. I was like, nope, I will not post on social media. I actually am like one of those people that I really liked Facebook. I was on it a lot. I just like, I'm a total people person. I loved connecting with people that way. And so for me, I was like, if I post on there, it's going to be like the death of my personal Facebook and it's going to be all like businessy and it just scared me. But, um, I, I, I got over that fear because I realized that I could really help people kind of like I started out by saying, once I saw what the products were doing, I thought, you know what, that's stupid to just like be so worried about what other people think. And the truth is other people's opinions don't pay your bills. And other people's opinions don't really matter at the end of the day. And I will say, I've been doing this for two years and the amount of positive feedback I've gotten about my posting has far outweighed the negative. I often hear like, I love, you know, what you're doing. And even from people that don't, you know, support me in terms of being a customer or who never bought from me, they're like, I just think it's so great that you are so passionate about this. So I think you have to look at it from that point of view. Um, you know, doing social media, you're reaching, you can reach so many more people, um, than, you know, the old fashioned, like, Oh, let's go out for coffee and meet up and chat about this. You can reach, you know, literally hundreds of people 
um, at once. So best times to post are morning, noon, and night. You think about like people before work, at lunchtime, after work, those are kind of the prime times. Um, and you know, who are you posting to? Obviously your audience. So you want to sort of be thinking about posts that would be um, appealing to people in your audience. So for me, I'm a stay at home mom, you know, I'm an athlete. I like to run. So a lot of my posts kind of have to do with that. Um, okay. The Facebook algorithm recently changed and we could probably do a whole training on this. And for the sake of time, I won't, but basically what you need to know is that commenting is like the new gold in Facebook land. So comment, 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 especially on people that you are really trying to get to see your posts because the more you comment on their stuff, the more you're going to show up in their feed. Commenting tells Facebook that you're friends. <laughs> yeah. And building those relationships too. Right. And just building relationships. So mm -hmm. that's super important. If you just are like scrolling super fast and liking stuff, that doesn't really help you, but commenting is, is good. And even on your own, like on a Plexus post, um, you know, if somebody makes some type of a comment, ask them a question right after, excuse me, right after that, um, in the comments, because that's going to keep the conversation going. And every time somebody comments, it's boosting your visibility in the feed. Um, okay. And then you don't want to be just all Plexus. You definitely like, you know, want to have personal posts that support your brand. So for example, like I said, I'm a runner. So, you know, I'll try to do some posts about me running or working out with friends. Um, you know, we've been doing like clean eating challenges. So I try to post recipes or pictures of my food with my, you know, help my healthy food. Um, so anything that supports my brand, I obviously don't want to be on there, like cussing out my neighbor. Um, <laughs> Who's yeah, dog who's not a good look every day. Um, or, you know, I don't want to be on there like showing my, you know, like wearing a super low cut shirt and being like, I don't know, you know what I'm, what I'm saying? Like just be true to your brand. Um, keep it classy, you know? Um, all right, let's move on. Anyway, okay. so much more on Facebook. If you have questions, ask your upline. We also love to help craft your first post. Yeah. So if you have questions on that or want us to help you with that, that is what we're here for. Okay. So uh, really quick, I just will kind of, whoa, okay. We need to really speed it up, Joe. I know. Um, well, so I know. Let's go to, info. okay. Don't wait. That's our biggest thing. Don't wait. I waited. I was like, nope, nope, nope. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. And Jordan was like, Hey, do you want to go on a walk with our pink drink and we'll post it? I'm like, and seriously, if I could go back in time, I would have done it way sooner. So, um, be you, um, talk about what you love about the products, personal, simple, vulnerable. Um, don't post your website. It's just, um, it looks salesy. Um, some people do, um, and they do it in like the comments. Um, but we just recommend that you don't put it on. And plus you really don't want someone to go to your website without talking to you first, because it can be a little confusing with different pricing and things and let your upline help you. Um, okay. these are just, do you want me to, you want me to do this one and I'll have you do the next two. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I would say, um, the very first thing is contact your top 10 people. Um, if you're kind of like, what do I do right now? I'm just kind of stuck. Get out there and contact your top 10. Um, Joran, can you check the comments? Are you able to do that? I, I just responded to one. Okay. Um, make your Frank's list. Um, Frank's list. If you have your notes out, that's your friends, your relatives, your acquaintances, your neighbors, kids connections, and spouse, right? Yeah. Spouse connections. Yeah. Seriously, I tag my husband in everything. And I would say like 25% of my business is based on his network. I don't, never met these people. They just see that he is doing this with me and they contact me. Um, and then um, have a launch party, have a sip and see, a sit and see. Um, a sit and see would be online. Or, and then the sip and see would be in person. Um, and your upline can do all of this for you. So, um, or your upline upline. Um, Joran and I offer to host parties for people all the time. Okay, you invite everybody and my job, I'm gonna provide everything. I'm gonna do giveaways, I'll do the presentation. You just invite your friends. Um, so try to make it really easy for your downline. Um, and if you're interested in doing a sip and see and your upline has not asked you, 
reach out to them or reach out to us and we will find out, you know, what's going on and get you all set up. And then um, also, if you're really eager, we say, uh, we call it 531. Um, you know, the, the more people you reach out to, the more people you're going to get to join you. So um, if you're really, really eager and you, and you want to just jump in full swing, we say 531. So you reach out to five new people a day. You follow up with three people, right, Joe? And then you, mm -hmm. you post and you do maybe a training a day. Right. If you're a little bit like, whoa, that's way too much. Totally understand that. <laughs> I didn't start at five. You can start with three, two, one or start with two, two, one, right? Two messages to new people a day is better than zero. Um, so just try to get your feet wet, you know, and, and, um, but really reaching out to people is where it's at. Just posting is not going to take your business very far. Um, and then like this just says statistics, the more, the more you reach out, the more, I can't read that because the thing is there, but, um, let's see, the more your reach out, the more growth you'll see in a short window of time, no matter how many, the key is that you reach out daily. So even if you you just do a one message one day, hey, okay, you did it. So it's better than zero. Um, you know, some days I just have bad days where I'm like, I didn't reach out at all. So the next day I'm going to do 10, <laughs> you know, just to, depends on what kind of day I had. So. Okay. So what happens when somebody's interested? This might be in the form of like somebody commenting on a post, like, Hey, I want to learn more. Or, you know, you reach out to somebody and they're like, yeah, I sound, that seems cool. Tell me about it. Um, you want to start a three-way chat with that person, um, with your upline and definitely less is more. This is a mistake all of us made in the beginning. Like I had a lot of people that were like, Oh, tell me about Plexus. And it was like five paragraphs of me, like telling my whole story. Um, just ask questions like, you know, what are your health goals? Do you have any health concerns? You know, what are your eating habits? Do you exercise? There's a lot of really great questions you can ask people to try to get to sort of the root of what they want and what they're looking for. Um, and I love that idea of kind of being a, a consultant. You're not there to sell them on anything. You're there to be a consultant and find out what are their needs and can I, you know, can, can Plexus help with what their needs are? Um, okay. I think we should move on. It, there's way more I could say on this, yeah. but I think we should move I on. I think we kind of went over this. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. So we can skip it. Okay. Oh, follow up. Yes. This is important. Um, so maybe you've heard the statistic, but 80% of sales happen between the fifth and 12th contacts. So you can't just reach out to someone once and think like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to cross them off my list because I didn't hear back from them. Um, just so you guys know, we all get ignored a lot, like a lot on the regular, on the regular, <laughs> and totally normal. And there could be a lot of reasons for it, but don't let your mind go to a place. that's like, Oh no, they ignored me. They, they hate me. They're so upset. That's really not what's happening. Usually they read your message super quick and then their kid dragged them away. Yeah. Ghosting. Totally. <laughs> so, um, very, very normal. And, um, I couldn't so ignore Jordan cause she just came to my house and talked more <laughs> about it. Five months I held that girl off. And if you think about it, if she didn't continue to talk to me about it, I would have never tried it because some people just need a push. And I, and I am, and I am one, and I am one of them. Yes, for sure. And you know, you can definitely continue to follow up without being pushy. You know, if I'm sure if at any point Sandra felt like, oh my gosh, this girl doesn't even want to be my friend. She just wants to sell me on Plexus. Like I'm sure that would have been a huge turn off to her. So she knew that I cared about her as a person and as a friend. And we talked about a million other things besides Plexus. But when it came up, I was sure to gently remind her about it. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Use your voice. Literally. This is something I've been doing more of recently and I really like it. Um, it's just voice messaging. It's very easy to do. It's on messenger and there's like a little record button and you can just press it and leave a voice message. So I really like that because then people can hear the passion in your voice. They can, they know that it's not a copy and paste because you actually say their name at the front and you know, you can make it personalize it. So I really like using that. The goal is to just open up the conversation. You're not trying to sell them initially. You're just trying to get a conversation going with them. Okay, but you yeah, follow, up, follow, up, follow up. About like it's very rare to have somebody sign up with you as a customer or ambassador 
on your first contact with them. It, it will happen, but it will rarely happen. So keep in mind, I mean, you have to follow up. So many people, they're not going to reach back out to you. And like I said, I mean, I've had someone literally ignore me for a year and then will message me and be like, Hey, just sorry. I've been so crazy. Don't ever check messenger. I want to do this. I'm like, really? I thought you hated me. <laughs> yeah, me too. So just, yeah. Try to keep a positive mindset and just know that, that it's between the fifth and 12th contact. That's a lot of contacts. So for sure. <clears throat> um, if you want to take a picture of these, these is just some, um, some resources. Um, let's see, uh, resource library, rank up roadmap. Um, we talked about sharing Plexus and then over here, she lists a lot of cool YouTube, um, things to watch. So did you have anything you want to add to that one? Sorry, Jordan, I forgot I told you. To take oh, no, no, I think this is good. She's just kind of giving you some extra resources, but again, I mean, yeah, the stuff in the back office, I think is the best stuff out there. Um, my first year I had Plexus power tools cause we didn't have a lot of that stuff and I don't even have that anymore. So Plexus power tools was, um, it is a website that was created with a lot of documents and ingredient info and all that kind of stuff, um, that you had to subscribe to. But my personal feeling is now with all that being in the back office, that it's not really something that I would use anymore. I don't know, Sandra, do you use it? No, I just stole the stuff from you before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I think it, it's not super necessary. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can do it. It's only $10 a year, but reach out to your upline first because they're going to have a lot of cool stuff to give you and let you have. So, yeah. Okay. I'll take this. Um, so what can I do now? Like these are like action steps. Like what do I do? So first get involved on your team pages. If you haven't purchased your welcome pack or don't have your subscription set, that is a must. Um, first post, like I said, reach out to us. We will totally help you guys with that so that you can start sharing. Um, reach out if it feels intimidating to, you know, try to reach out to a bunch of people or to make a list of a hundred, just send three messages or make three phone calls. It's super easy. I actually had a girl, um, I don't think she's on the call tonight, but I have a newbie who, um, she keeps her plexus on her counter. And so her mother-in-law came over the other day and was like, what's that? And she's like, Oh, I, I just started this like a week ago. It's so great. I like, I don't really know anything about it, but it like balances your blood sugar and works on your gut health. And I feel great. And her mother-in-law is like, cool. I want to do it with you. So she got her first customer. That's how easy this can be. So, um, you know, reaching out to people that, that you are close to and are non-threatening. Um, earn as you learn. I think what she means by that is you don't have to know everything right away and you can start making some money back as you learn more about the business and about the products. Um, yeah, when, when I used yeah. to get my, my monthly paycheck, I would go in and open it in back office and look at every category that I made money in and be like, what's that? <laughs> like, yeah. how did I make much money in that category? And I'd ask my upline and then I, you know, learn because the, the 11 ways can be a little overwhelming at first. Yeah. I'm not sure that any of us like still 100% understands the comp plan. We just know we make money and we like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and okay. then Rachel, Rachel asked what the Plexus tools are. I think, um, there's like really good, like, like more detailed product information, right? Joran? In the well, tools. she was asking about the power tools, which is the website, that separate website, but, oh, um, okay. yeah, there are tools in back office that are very similar. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Cause we talked about customers and ambassadors. Let's move on. Okay. I think we're getting, that's it, I, think. I think that was it. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. We didn't do so bad. We're like seven no. minutes late. Um, seven minutes late. Look at that. It's not bad. We were, we were okay. cruising through that. Um, do you guys have any questions? You can unmute yourself or you can throw them in the chat. If anybody has questions for us. And also, if, if you want to, um, do we have any January new ambassadors on the call tonight? That means you joined in the month of January. Priscilla, if, right? Is Priscilla this month, Rachel? Or is she December? Yes, Priscilla and Celeste started this month. Oh, okay. they're, they're both January? Yeah, because okay. Celeste was a preferred customer, but then she upgraded. Oh, right, right. Okay, so I got Celeste and I got Priscilla. I wrote them all down, Joran. Okay. Um, do we have any other? I think that was it for the January newbies. 
Anybody else? There is a, there is a 209 number that I don't recognize. Um, uh, just feel free to unmute yourself right now and tell us your name if you were new in January. Um, otherwise, uh, otherwise we were going to do a quick giveaway um, for these guys. Oh, hi. Oh, oh wait. yes, hi. Okay, I didn't know if that was the, I don't think that was the 209. So it looks like we just, so it sounds like we just have the two, Priscilla. And yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right, so what do you think, Sandra? Should we just we do, do that one giveaway? Yeah. Okay. You guys have or 50, you 50 odds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, or I'm willing to do one too. So you could do one and I could do one. You have a three day? I think I still have a three day. Okay. We're going to give you each a three day sam um, sample that you can give away to a potential. So mine, I think, I think I only have, sorry. Um, I think I only have one left and it's slim edge. So, um, I can send that one out and then, uh, whichever one okay, you, you have. Take, you want to take Priscilla and I'll take Celeste. Yep. So Priscilla, okay. um, private message me your address and I'll get you that three day slim edge sample out. We really, um, want to celebrate our brand new ambassadors that made it on the call tonight. Thank you everyone for being here. But, um, you know, when you're just starting out, there's a lot to learn. So hopefully we didn't overwhelm you too much. And we're so glad that you guys were here tonight. Yeah. And Celeste, could you, um, private message me, message me with your address too, and I'll see which ones I have so I can, we can pick one. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks for being here guys. Questions or anything before we wrap up?